Good morning, traders. Welcome to this FXDD video on the pound dollar. My name is Chris from Elite Currency, and let's take a look at the, the charts. Before we do that, though, be aware of this risk disclaimer. It explains the fact that trading for exchange and global financial markets is considered high risk and may not be suitable for everyone. Please seek the advice of an independent financial advisor for more information on that. And this video is for informational and educational purposes only. So let's start with the monthly chart. Let's do a top-down analysis. And we see that price action uh, is being stopped by the 21 EMA zone as a resistance band. Price is not able to break through that and is now trying to break below it. So from my perspective, this could be a trend continuation uh, if price manages to break below 126.65-ish uh, here, as you can see. Uh, why this zone? Because that could be a head and shoulders level uh, to... to Reckon with here the left shoulder, head, and right shoulder. So if it breaks through that, that pattern is not, you know, a factor anymore, and we could see a bearish continuation. Uh, on the weekly chart, we had a very strong uh, bearish candle last week with a close near low, very dominant, bearish in control. Looks great as a breakout candle. You see the fractals are indicating uh, the fact that we're in a downtrend for a while already now, as you can see, and that is indeed uh, mostly true. And you can see the price is broken below uh, the key support level as well. The, this fractal right here at the 21 EMA. So I think pretty good breakout candle, pretty dominant candle. And as long as price stays below last week's low, plenty of reasons for price just to either retrace and continue uh, or break immediately down to this level, then retrace and continue or just continue right away. So those are kind of the three uh, uh, you know, scenarios I'm looking at. I am not uh, considering the bullish break above here as a realistic uh, you know, uh, probability at this moment because of that strong candle, all right? Strong bearish candles uh, normally see a continuation. And I think that if price does break above 130.40, then of course that would change the perspectives and it would not be bearish anymore and would have to reanalyze it then maybe some bigger bullish correction could take place but i don't expect that and i'm looking for a retracement let's put a fib on this candle typically with a strong candle like that you will see a retracement probably to the 50 fib but not more than that typically so let's take a look at that daily candle then uh, sorry daily chart and uh, this fib and you can see that the 50 fib around 128.75 that's kind of the max we would expect it could easily be the 38.2 fib at 128.36 or maybe even the 23.6 fib here at 127.88. Now, alternatively, it could also just you know easily fall and right away hit that 126.50, uh, 126.20 zone. That uh, could be a bouncing spot. So it doesn't even have to retrace up into here before continuing. It could continue right away, as I mentioned. Uh, and this could be a level where price might make a retracement as well. And if it then re-breaks, below the correction it should continue lower down to 125 which is the next round psychological level and you know a target you want to keep in mind so four hour chart uh, has been very impulsive price is moving away nicely pulling the 21 ema from the 144 ema we have everything aligned price below the 21 21 below the 144 ema with increasing space good momentum therefore so uh, at this moment, price seems to be making uh, a retracement. So that might, if we do get a close above the 21 EMA, that could indicate that the immediate follow through is becoming less likely. I was still actually till this hourly candle still uh, leaning towards the fact that price could probably continue for one more push lower. But if we get an hourly candle like this, well, in that case, uh, it might be breaking above the 21 EMA, and you can see that it hasn't happened for a very long time, right? A lot of momentum, a lot of flag breaks on this pound dollar. It was great trading, flag break, flag break, pullback continue, flag break, flag break, break. Five breaks in total, and this could have been the sixth perhaps, but I didn't like this one necessarily that much because if you have that many breakouts in one shot, they become riskier and riskier. So, uh, because you get closer to the target and diversions, etc. Now, so if you do get to break here, then likely to be a retracement up to this weekly pivot point, the 38, the long to moving average, that could be a bouncing spot. I'm looking either for bearish candlestick patterns at the 38 and 144 EMA, or a break and then 
basically, or I should say bounce, and then a break below the 21 EMA because the 21 EMA will go up again like this. So what we get is a bounce here and then a re-break below it. That could also be one more way of trading uh, the, you know, this pound dollar is either trading the retracement or trading the re-break here. Okay. For traders who are, you know, very, uh, have, have a lot of, I would say, bravery, <laughs> you know, this uh, could retrace, of course, that is a reversal trade. So that's always a bit riskier. Personally, you know, waiting for the end of the retracement uh, within this trend is safer uh, version to, uh, to choose and to uh, keep an eye on. All right, so that's about it um, for the moment. Retracement continuation seems the most likely at this moment, looking at the one-hour chart. But if the hourly chart, if hourly candle fails for any reason in, in the next couple of minutes, then yeah, there is that chance for continuation. One twenty-six fifty could be also a spot for retracement, but in the end, just continue, just expecting continuation down to one twenty-five for the moment. Now, if price breaks below one twenty-five, we would expect to move down to one twenty-three eighty, this bottom, and if it breaks one twenty-three eighty. Then we're looking at potential to 122.50 and then 120 round level, right? Then we're in that case, we're broken to big bottom and down we go in a full fledged downtrend. I'm not sure if we're there yet. For the moment, 126.50 is the next target. And then after that, 125. All right, if you're looking for more webinars with FXDD, check out these two links. These are live webinars, top one trading webinars and the bottom one educational webinars from Nenet and myself. Or if you want to see recordings or if you want to see more videos, of course, FXDD YouTube channel has it all. So subscribe there so you don't miss anything. And uh, well, that's about it. Wish you all good trading and see you next week. Cheers.